Yeah. You have her stand there anyway. I don't have her stand there. She the one said that like y'all better not say shit wrong. She stand there. I would love to see she stand there like this. Don't say anything wrong. I'ma take the whole shit down. So guys, welcome back to Six Kids and a Husband. My name is Lewis. I am the husband, and this is my beautiful wife, Andrea. And today we are reacting to Game Show's Funniest Answers. I'm not sure because there's like a thousand videos of this. I don't know which video it is, but don't worry. I will put it in the description down below where you can guys can, can check out the original video. So nice. I know, right? I try. Because I'm here for you people. So I, wait, you people always sound like some racist shit. I'm here for you, our subscribers. Speaking of subscribers, if you have not subscribed yet, click that button right there. There to subscribe. Uh, that button is private. <laughs> That's my button. Let me click that button right there to subscribe. Um, to enjoy our funny videos. <laughs> what? Sorry, I'm told my life is about to pop her eyes out. I meant my belly button. Click that subscribe button. Also, click this bell over here. Why do you have her stand there anyway? I don't have her stand there. She the one said that like y'all better not say shit wrong. She stand there. I would love to say she stand there like this. Don't say anything wrong. I'm gonna take the whole shit down. <laughs> Let's get into the video. During what months of pregnancy does a woman begin to look pregnant? September. <laughs> okay. They should have an IQ test. In September. To name something you wouldn't try even once. Matthew. Sex on a train. What? Sex on a train. Sex on a train. What answer is that? No. Funnily enough, our survey people didn't come up with that. Who in a burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a Naked grandma! Naked grandma! I love that. Huh? He's so serious. Right, he but it's but but it's up there. Naked grandma! I don't see that either. Real or fictional? Name a famous Willie. Willie the Pooh? Willie the Pooh. Willie the Pooh. That's how he calls his uh, friend. Boy. You know, John? Yes, we do. He look happy. Doesn't she have pretty nipples? Uh, uh, pretty dimples. Mm -hmm. Let's bring out Willie the Pooh. You know he likes that honey baby. Tell me, tell me, what is your favorite part of our newlywed game set? Jim? Probably wife number two. <gasps> What? Nah, you can't say that, bro. It's probably wife number two. Name a piece of clothing wives buy for their husbands. Halter tops. Edgar. Fish love? Fish love. <laughs> Sorry. Jenny? Oh, no, Wish list. Fish, Fish love. love. You feel before you buy it. Excited. Name something you feel before you buy A vegetable you, you marinate. Grapes. I never marinate grapes. Name something you might buy that could turn out to be phony. Yeah, a horse. What? Yeah, of course, horses. That's the wrong one. Yeah. Phony horse. They always man, he, man, he sold me a fake horse that she was rocking back and forth. Lively party. The most romantic sounding musical instrument. The drone. The girl. Name something you might accidentally leave on all night. Yes. Your shoes. Then he must be drunk as hell. something people take with them to the beach. Turkey? A turkey. Who takes a turkey? Who takes a turkey to the beach? Turkey. Are you serious? Turkey. Describe these words that begin with the letters S T A. Go. Ouch. We asked a hundred people to name a game you can play in bed. Steve, I spy. I spy. What? I spy. Something you squeeze. Peanut butter. <laughs> what? <laughs> what would be the ideal everyday? Temperature, everybody, disrobe. Now 
98. Yeah. Everyday temperature. What would be the ideal everyday temperature? No, she likes it warm. That's fucking hot. I know. A group of pill pushers? Pill pushers. He, he deserved Name the money for this. Fruit. Orange. Oh. Name something that comes in pairs. Fred. Bananas. Come yes, bananas Fred. come in pairs. Let me get yes, two bananas. He looks like Arthur. his bananas come in pairs. Um, Shakespeare. Arthur Shakespeare. Uh, Arthur. Arthur Shakespeare. Sit down. Name Ever. something that follows the word pork. Cupine. Cupine. Huh? huh? Cupine. Pork Cupine. He looks so confused. Gentlemen, other than popcorn, what is your favorite thing to nibble on at the movies? Steve? Ooh, I'm gonna get shot. Uh, her boobs, I don't know if you... <laughs> her boobs. Name a part of the body that gets bigger as adults get older. Pretty penis. It don't get bigger? Does it? That he'd be mm -hmm. upset if someone else used it. How about his job strap? <laughs> How many decades will your husband say his mother has lived? Gloria. Ten decades. Ten decades. <laughs> Do you know what a decade is? How many decades has your yeah. mother lived? Daryl, you have a troubled look on your face. What's the matter? Oh, I don't know what a decade is. <laughs> 44th birthday, so she'd be good. It's four years a decade. She'd be 10 decades. 10 decades. He as stupid as she expected. She knows him very well. Something usually done only once a week. Uh, Mike Love. What? I mean, you Tell me a slang term that means wife. Bitch. Oh, oh good answer. I would never say that. Name something you wouldn't want the police to find in the trunk of your car. Pickles. <laughs> of course, I always have pickles in the trunk of you my car. Always. Where I can do for hours at a time. Masturbate. <laughs> what? Something that has to warm up before you use it, sir. How about your wife? Yeah. Give me a massage. Cause my back hurt all the Maybe time. Prayed for snow on her wedding day. Yes, I did. It was 32 degrees and no snow on my wedding day, but I had eight inches on my honeymoon. So. She had what? Eight inches on her honeymoon. Penis or what we talking about? She was talking about snow, but it sounded like penis. Sarah. Big toe. What will your husband say is his favorite thing to squeeze in the supermarket? Jane? I say his meat. Pardon me? His meat. His meat? Your pervert? His meat. Give me a slang name for policeman. Dick. What? Dick. Okay. Let me see what he said. Name a state that begins with the letter M. Mexico. Just a hundred people to name a game you could play in the back. Annette. Scuba diving. <laughs> Something your neighbor has you wish you had. A beautiful wife. <laughs> Name a kind of bear. Papa bear. A papa bear. A papa bear. A papa bear. Name something London is famous for. I'm thinking pasta. Any questions such as, how old are you? Yeah. Eighteen. Of course she looks scared. She a walker, right? 18. No. I'm not 18. You're not? No. You certainly fooled me. Just a second. I'm going to read the question. Name questions such as, how old are you? That you might answer with a lie. You, uh, I would say 50. <laughs> Both of them go home. No, sweet lover. Give me another sort of question that you might lie about. I would say uh, I'm 39. Are you serious? Most of the electricity in our home flows from the blank to the what? 
from the plug to the vibrator. <laughs> what a girl should know about a man before she marries him. You just got it, Lynn. What did you, what did you say? His name. She's His right? name. His name. That would be good. Yeah, right? That would be a start. Do you take this man? Who is he? Yes, sir. A purse. You're going to be slightly embarrassed when I finish this question. A purse. <laughs> Name something made of leather that a cowboy uses. A purse. Which cowboy don't have a purse, right? With a word or phrase that would also describe your wife. Wet. 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 Slippery when wet. Name an animal whose eggs you'd probably never eat for breakfast. Hamster. Hamster. Hamsters lay or lay eggs? No. Name something in your house you would yell at if it stopped working. Probably spouse. An old woman's breasts. There's a tag. Reason you might stay indoors on a beautiful day. Because it's raining. On a beautiful day. Something made of wool. Sheep. Something made out of wool. Sheep. Police commissioner said, "I think Batman and Robin are blank." Queer. I used to think that too. I really did think that. The year when you really want to be with friends. December. Okay. Name something normally worn only by children. Michael. Clothes. Yep. Once you're out of that childhood, you butt naked all the time. One of those husbands. Their husbands. Question, gentlemen. What is the one thing the people on the other side of your street have more of than you do? Cars. Cars. Your wife said they have more, more Trees. grass than you do. Grass. I, I wouldn't bet on that. <laughs> Wonder what he talking about. What he talking about. Joe. Um, cops. Cops. Name a time. He look like he a sex offender. He doing the sex for the shuffle? Yeah, come on and have, uh, have kitties in my drink. Our survey said, <laughs> now if that wasn't bad enough, <laughs> I then said, name of time that most people go to bed. <laughs> you said, Please, night. Night. the time that people wake up in the morning. Said, you know what is so great about this show? We have talented people like the Ramiro family on our show. Paul is a concert pianist. Steve, what do you do? <laughs> I sell frozen bulls and artificial insemination. Oh, How are you? Fine, thank you. What's your story? Well, I, I'm in young girls' pants. I manufacture pants. How weird is that thing? He looks like it. I'm in young girls' pants. One of the three bears. Yogi. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Name something with a hole in the middle. Michelle? Hole punch. I know everyone in America said what the audience did. What she say? Okay, fill them in. You? No, that's incorrect. I'm sorry. Fill the blanks in order or pick a tile, Chris, whatever you want to do. Okay, fill them in. I. No, sir, that's incorrect. Mosquitoes. Fill them in. A. Mosquitoes. You know it? All right, fill it in. Oh, yes. Yes. I. Yes. E. Yes. E. Yes. Sir. Mosquitoes. <laughs> These goddamn mosquitoes. The way of toasting someone. Michelle. Over fire. You toast someone over fire. What is her problem? If you travel to any foreign country in the world, where would you go? Uh, Pakistan. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I take wrap rubber bands around my t-shirt and stick it in tie-dye. Yes. Um, uh, these are the ugly sandals that lesbians wear. Uh, are you serious? What was the most infantile suggestion you made to your wife on your first date, Joe? Uh, why don't you eat something? All right. Patty says the most infantile suggestion was that uh, that she should, shouldn't be so closed minded I should be looser, you know. Uh, you were loose enough that night. 
country has the highest ratio of doctors to population? The country with the most Jews? I would say Israel. You have a doctor in every family. It's a cousin, it could be an uncle, a couple of specialists. I agree. You agree with that? It's Israel. It's Israel. Something you wash once a week. Claudia. Yourself. Once a week. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. Some new people close. Legs. Man of the world, traveled all over the world. Something Russia is famous for, Bob. Russians. Something Russia is famous for. Russians. Name an animal with three letters in its name. You said frog. Our survey said zero. Two people would have to say that. Something that comes with a summer storm. You gave me the answer. Of course. So, them snowy summer storms. Our survey said... Remind everyone... Hey, I have death as well. ...the answers he gave us. You're going to be 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name an animal with three letters in its name. Alligator. How do you say the apple don't fall far from, from the tree? tree? Exactly. Alligator. Of course, three letters. Alligator. Alright, guys, that was us reacting to some of the funniest game show answers. And I wouldn't even say that it was funny, I said it was stupid. It's scary. Like, it's amazing how. It's scary how many brainless people walk around. Yeah, right? It's like walkers. Yes. But don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you thought about the video and were some of the answers funny or was it just... Of course it was funny, but it was more like... Uh... But does it show how bad our public um, schooling system is? Back from the 60s? Yeah, true. I mean, yeah. yeah it's just somewhere. stupid people. You know some people drop their kids and it's going right. down. Hope, hope you guys enjoyed the reaction. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click that bell so Ding you can dong. be... So you can be notified when we upload new videos because, hey, we upload every other day. And until next video, peace out.